Hi guys, welcome to um, an episode of My Backyard Build. Um, this is Project RX4. Now, the car's a 1974 Mazda 929. Um, I've had it sitting in the backyard for about, uh, about 12 months without actually touching it or doing anything with it. Very slowly kind of um, tinkering around and pulling the engine out, um, stripping down the bay and getting it ready for paint. Now, the thing is, is I've actually been asked um, by a few people to um, to throw up some videos of the RX4 build um, and I figure it'll be a good chance to give me not only a deadline that I already have, uh, has to be done by Christmas time um, 2016 um, so I've got a couple of months left in me to get this car done so it has to be registered by then and have an engine in it. I've already done the engine bay so I've already stripped the bay down, epoxy primed it, uh, sanded it back and 2k primed it so that's all done uh, in this episode, um, I'm going to be doing the bonnet. We'll do it panel per panel, and until it comes to the day of when I'm actually going ready for colour, I will um, then take the colour down to a uh, to a booth and uh, then flip the colour over it. What we'll do is we'll work our way around the car, we'll go panel per panel, and um, get it all in epoxy primer, and hopefully then we'll start doing the dents, and then she'll be down in the booth uh, getting some colour flipped over it. Look, I'm, I'm pretty excited, um, hoping that... Uh, that some of you uh, want to come along for the ride, and um, let's get to it. Cheers. Alright, so I got the bonnet on the panel stand. Um, she's in pretty good condition. Um, just going to pull this uh, chrome strip off the front of it um, and uh, straighten out a small dent I've got in the front of this strip. Um, apart from that, we'll, um, be able to, once we start stripping it down, we'll have a look to see how bad it actually is. Um, it's been sprayed down with um, with degreaser and um, gurney off, so it's it actually feels pretty clean. It's probably, I think I've rubbed it down with Scotch Brite as well, um, with detergent, just to make sure most of the oils are off there. But as you can see, there's still some residue of them um, on here. But most of it is clean. Um, anyway, I'll be painting both sides of this bonnet. I'll be painting both under and up. So we'll work on the underside first and. Um, Get that all sealed off and then uh, hopefully work on our top side. Cool. Alright, so what I've decided to do is I've decided to um, flip the bonnet over and strip the panel off the other side. Um, have a look to see what our skin looks like, um, condition of it, so you'll have to do any major repairs or any, any dent removal from this side before I spray this side and do it. So I'll um, flip it over, rip the paint off this side. Okay, so I'm going to be doing paint stripper and to, um, to enable the, this surface um, for the paint stripper to be able to, to, to be able to actually get into the paint and underneath and lift it off, um, you, want, uh, you want a kind of a key in the surface, like a key being um, scratches or something. Now you don't have to just grab some harsh sandpaper and just scuff it with your hand if you want. I'm going to buzz it over with the um, with the orbital. I've got a cheap electric orbital sander that I might as well use. Um, one thing you probably should have if you're going to use an orbital or, or an air orbital or something like that is a, um, is a piece of foam in here and it's like, I can't remember what the pad's called, but it, it, it enables it so when you get up to peaks and stuff you don't just burn through the peak real quick like it on the corners and edges of stuff and that's why you, that's why you usually run one but because I'm stripping the paint off and I'm not going to be holding it too long on one area I won't be wearing down to bare metal so I'm not going to be worrying about um, creating high spots in the metal or anything like that. If I um, showed you what the quality of the, the top of the bonnet was um, as you get closer you'll be able to see that there's cracks all through the all through the paint um, but all in all these little patches here the black is where I've actually gone over um, where filler was actually exposed to the air and I just threw some Plasti Dip um, on top of them. So the bonnet's been quickly buzzed. Um, as you can see, it's just kind of kind of rough all over. Um, what I'll do now? Well, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint strip. 
and some paint stripper into a container um, and then brush it off. Okay, um, so we're finished with the strip disc and the um, and the wire brush, the wire wheel. Um, now we just move on to um, I'll prep it and I'll um, 2K epoxy primer on there. All right, so. This is my my, um, my primer gun. Uh, this is a an Iwata um, HT2. Uh, it's a cheap um, cheap spray gun. Um, I'll pull out my Devilbis um, GTI Pro lights um, when I actually start putting top coats and stuff on. On the bottom here, this is a digital um, uh, air pressure regulator. Um, my thoughts on the digital air pressure regulator: don't get one. Um, just get a gauge. Uh, that will be that's sufficient enough. Now, the easiest way to set up your gun when you're going is to wind your tip, uh, your, your spray tip in all the way, wind both in all the way and close them completely off. And what you want to do is with your, with your fan, I open my fan up to max. Once it's opened up max, that'll do. And then what I do is I look at the, the setting of where it is here on the back for the, uh, for the amount of paint delivery. So as you can see, there's nothing coming out now. And I wind it out three, uh, two and a half to three turns. Now that's pretty standard. That's two turns out. I go two and a half turns. Yeah, that feels good to me. So, um, yeah, I'll, sit, I'll leave it at two and a half turns and we'll, we'll um, see how we go there. Our um, epoxy primer now, 2K. Um, gun set up the same. I've wound it out to three turns for paint delivery now. Um, good to go. spray on top you'll it'll look like you've got your edges done um, and you'll kind of just forget about them um, it's very easy to, to miss a patch on the edges all right it's meant to be um, 15 minutes between coats um, total of only two coats with this uh, this particular uh, epoxy so 
yeah, just two, two wet coats. So I put on this one, wait 15, put on another one, and it's done. All right, so it's been 15 minutes. Um, it's time for me to hit the second coat, and uh, we should be done then. Oh, one of the joys about working outside is, make sure you look at your work, and uh, if there's anything on there, just kind of brush it off. After 15 minutes, the paint will be dry slightly. Don't go sticking your finger in it, but if you blow the air across, you should be able to get rid of any little bits of something which have fallen on, because obviously there's going to be stuff on the trees that have fallen in it. Once you've finished putting on your second coat, make sure you've got enough paint. Uh, once you've finished putting on your whatever, third, second or third coat, whatever your last coat is, don't go back and try and reapply in some areas. This most likely will cause you to get runs. Now, pretty happy with it. I'll grab the camera, bring it down so you can see what the, um, what the panel looks like. And um, yeah, good times. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm really excited that I got the bonnet and epoxy primer. Um, I will move the way backwards down the car from now on. So next thing will be the lower apron or, or front guards, and then we'll move our way backwards to the doors, strip them down, and uh, and just keep moving that way. Look, um, I'm a little bit disappointed that I don't have a shed or I don't have a, uh, as Americans would call it, a shop um, to be able to put the car in. Um, but I guess uh, you work with what you've got. I purchased this house not thinking that I'd, uh, I'd ever want to do another project car and I've had a few in the past. Look, I, um, it's just something that stays with me and something which I love doing. So I guess, uh, I guess my next purchase, my next house purchase will be a, uh, uh, something with a sufficient space to be able to um, actually have my own, um, my own shed or shop. <laughs> Look, um, thanks for watching. Look, if you've got any comments or anything I could do differently, if I could film Change, change the angle of the camera or, um, or walk around or explain things better. Um, look, I don't want to keep these videos too long. I want to make them as short as possible. I didn't really want to go over kind of that 11 minutes, 12 minutes mark. I think it's, I think it's too long. But um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. And uh, I'll be coming with another video every week. Hopefully hit my deadline. And uh, this will force me to actually um, progress and, um, and have this car done in time. I'm pretty excited. I am. Um, I love the car, I love the shape, um, yeah. As always guys, take care.